in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. Approach the front desk and utter the words, allow me to relieve you of your duties. If you are deemed worthy, the employee will escort you to the manager of the asylum. On the way, the employee will chat to you. He will probably tell you how much of a burden will be relieving him of. If your mind and nerves, or if you perhaps lose confidence, leave. It is better than receiving a full blow of wrath that will fall upon you if you continue. You will be brought into the manager's office. But there will be no manager there. The employee will examine you, inspecting you almost. If the employee deems you worthy, you will gain the job of being the new front desk clerk. He will hand you a booklet and a pistol. This job is joyless and thankless, he will tell you. Turn up at 8 a.m. every morning and leave at 5.30. Many seekers will approach the desk and ask to speak to different holders, such as the holder of the end or the, the holder of darkness. Pay attention to which holder they are requesting to see. If you were competent enough to receive the job as clerk, you should know where to guide each seeker for the instructions for each one is in the booklet. If a seeker utters the words, allow me to relieve you of your duties, guide him to the manager. If the manager deems him unworthy, go back to your duties. If he takes your job, leave this mental institution and never return. You are not an unwanted visitor. If one day a seeker asks to see the holder of employment, guide him to the door across the manager's office. Sit at the desk and examine him. If he appears to be fit for service, tell him to sit across from you. There is a booklet and a pistol in the drawer of the desk. Give them to him. Tell him to turn up at 8.30 a.m. the next day. If he appears on a Friday, tell him to appear on Monday. When he turns up, guide him to the same office you employed him in. Tell him he is flawed and is not fit to be in service. Tell him he is fired. He will protest. Press the security button under the desk. A demonic guard will enter and he will be dragged to his brutal death in a forgotten part of the asylum. If you feel the slightest twinge of remorse or pity for the man, the demon will drag you off too. You are too weak to meet the holder. After this meeting is over, you may now leave the office. You will now be in an endless hall full of doors. Each door will lead to a brutal and horrible death. Only walk to and open door 139, knock thrice. If the holder does not wish to be disturbed, let alone burden with an uninvited visitor, there will be silence. Leave immediately out door zero, and you will have to wait until another seeker enters the asylum and asks to see the holder of employment for another chance. If a voice that you faintly recognize retorts with enter, you may enter. When you enter, you will see a stressed and overworked version of you. You will be wearing a suit with a badge sporting the title CEO. Ask him, is the work equal to the result? He will tell you how good of a payoff the uniting of the objects actually are. This is where you pull out the pistol the employee handed you. Blow your doppelganger's brains out. An old man will appear to congratulate you on passing the test and offer you the CEO's job. Decline it, or you will suffer your doppelganger's fate. If you decline, he will say, I assure you the past CEO's progress was phenomenal. Please complete it. The old man will hand you a bundle of papers. 
with that vice written on them addressed towards you from your doppelganger. And one of the pages will be a list of all the employees before you. That bundle of papers is object 139 of 538. May you learn from your past self's mistakes. And theirs 